What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you an Instagram redesign. So we haven't done one of these in a while so I thought it's time to bring it back. We're going to be doing a Manchester United one this time. So you've uh yeah we're going to be doing a Manchester United one this time. So basically it's going to be a simple next match edit. So I'll put it on the screen right now. Basically you know it's just going to be for the next match. <laughs> Nothing too important. It's going to be very simple. One image. Uh, we're going to do a little background edit and some text. So this is going to be for like you know their their matches and stuff but you can use this for obviously your own team's matches so i have um set up obviously the file and everything so i've left it all in place but if you want to edit it and obviously play around with it you know link is down below so obviously download that but um you'll be able to adapt it to your own team and colors and stuff like that so hopefully you do enjoy the video we haven't had one of these in a while so if you are looking forward to it obviously hit the like button and let me know in the comments obviously if you want to see any more of these and if they are helpful so uh yeah because that's the main thing of it just showing you that you can design something that someone else has you know one of the professional instagram sites have uh, made yeah without further ado let's get straight into the video So guys, first things first, you need to download this link, obviously in the description, and you'll be presented with all of this. And now we have our original photo or design here. This is what Man United made and put on their page. Um, and this is, we're gonna make our own. So what you need to do is turn all this off and we'll be left with this background. So everything in this background layer is obviously text. What I'm gonna do first, before I do anything else, I'm gonna make a new document. This is gonna need to be 2160 by 2700. Now this is probably the largest size you can get for Instagram. So so yeah, it's the best one. Once you have created this, you're gonna to need to make a solid color layer. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a solid color and we're just gonna go and grab this red here, which is C6, B1, B23. So there we go, we got that, click OK. And once we've got that, we're gonna start making some text. So if I go back to this, you know, uh, text pack, as you can see in here, I've got a range of different texts, like uh, the reds go marching on is what it says, but it's obviously manipulated in its own way, so it's all angled and stuff. So you need to sort of design this yourself. So what I'm gonna do, I've left it in here if you just wanna copy and paste it, but if you wanna do it yourself, I'm gonna show you now. So what you're gonna do is go and type reds. Now this is gonna be in the Anton font. You want this, so obviously a lot of you should have it. If not, the link will be down below. And we're gonna make this quite big. So once we've made it big, we're gonna reduce the kerning to zero, and then we're just going to put it like this, and then spread it across like that. So you can have it angled like that, that's good. And then we're gonna change it to a gray color. So the gray color is 222222, perfect. Now you need to do this with the rest of the letters. So we've got marching, um, that's fine. And then what we're gonna do is reduce the size of this one a little bit, just so it's uh, not as big. And then we're gonna pull the reds down here. Then we're gonna duplicate this again, type go. So, so we're gonna have reds go marching on, um, but obviously this isn't gonna be exact to, uh, you know, in the exact order or anything. Now what you need to do once you've got these letters, you can sort of move them around. So as you can see what I'm doing right now is I'm manipulating them, I'm moving them around the page, making them, you know, different angles and stuff. This is what you need to do with your design because uh, it will make it look a lot better. So we're gonna get this one, gonna go make it a little bit smaller. That can go there. This go can go there, on up there. That's fine. And then we have another red, uh, make it a little bit smaller and put it at an angle and put it up here. And as you can see guys, this is really simple. It's really quick technique, um, nothing too tasking to do. So you don't really need to worry about anything like that. But the main thing you will need to worry about is making sure that you get the uh, blending right when we do reduce the opacity of it. Because when we do that, it might look a little bit weird. So yeah, just to be cautious of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate this reds here actually, just to make it look a little bit better. I'm gonna put that one up the middle there. And then we're gonna put a go down here like that. So that's pretty much all we need to do for the background. So we've got all our text there. So what do you do now? You group all this together and put it in a group and then change it to soft light. Reduce this down to about 30%. That's fine. All done. So you can, you know, group those together now. Change that to BG, background. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is get your original, which you want to use as a template. So we're going to drop this in, put it in the middle like so and now we're going to base this to drop all of our stuff onto so first we're going to get the image which is ronaldo image here so you can turn the original off get ronaldo image drag and drop this in and we're going to make sure that we position it probably around there is fine that's good so it's obviously not the same image but it's similar so you don't really need to worry about that and now we are going to get uh this polygon shape 
which is going to be uh, where the logo sits. So I'm going to position this as well. So now that we've positioned this, it will give us a better idea of where everything's going to go. That's fine. Um, we've got all that done. Now we're going to get some uh, text again. So here, if I turn some of these on now, you can see obviously it's all laid out for you. As I've done, as I said, you can obviously do this yourself or you can just drag and drop it in. So it'll be like a template for you. So it'll save you time and stuff if you don't want to design it yourself. Um, all you need to do is drag it across and you know change it to what you want it to look like pretty much. Um, so what we're going to do is get the next match design here. So we can drag and drop this in and now we can just sort of position this on the side here. So as you can see here, if I turn the original off, this text is Anton but I've stretched it up so what I've done is I've gone like this and stretched it holding shift so stretched it like that and that means you are able to make it uh, just look long and taller and longer than it is and um, basically making it just a little bit uh, easier to look at and move this text over a little bit make sure the arrow is on the edge of the photo so it's not covering everything because that's what you need to make it look sort of normal um, and yeah now we can turn our original back on so this little rectangle down here it's uh, just a rectangle with a mask on it and they've painted out bits. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our rectangle tool, just make it, drag it out, make a rectangle like that. Now it's going to be grey. You can take this out of this group and put it in its own. And what you're going to do is add a layer mask to this so that you can add the grainy effect that it added before. So I've got these SG grain shader brushes down here and I downloaded these off the internet. There'll be a link down below for you guys um, so that you can download this as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce the size of it go zoom in and then I'm going to go down here and basically just start masking it away so change your color to black then you can start painting it away obviously make sure your opacity is at 100% and then just start painting away very simple like so and then when we zoom out you can sort of see there you go that's perfect so now if we keep going at like this we want to make sure that the edges are gone uh, like so make sure the edge is gone here like that and then you get this perfect nice little faded out block perfect so that was pretty simple, not hard to do. Now the next thing we're going to do is turn this back on. Now you can see where the text is meant to go. So the logos are going to go here. So we just need to make sure that we get that right. Now that we have uh, put the rectangle there, we are going to get some text. Now the logos, like I said before, they are in this pack here. So you can just take that whenever. But first we are going to do this uh, United Young Boys text. So I'm going to drag and drop that in. And this is nice. So we can put this here. Uh, I think I've left a rectangle in here already. Yeah, I have. So we can get rid of that one, drag and drop this one, put it in the group. So now we have this text in here. Again, I've stretched this text out a little bit just because that's what I did. Um, it just made it look a little bit better at the time, but you can obviously reduce it down a little bit like that. That also looks fine. Um, and if we just make sure you keep turning the uh, background on and off, because if you took, not the background, sorry, the original on and off. So that means you can see where the text is overlapping, okay? So we want to make this a little bit smaller. Um, this text a little bit smaller to make sure that it doesn't go over the red. That's fine. Um, and now that we've got that done, what we can do now is focus on the logos. So as you can see here, if I open up the background again, or the original, this logo is sat on a piece of red square. You might not be able to see it, but it's covering the text in the background. So that is what we are going to create. So if we go over here and create a red rectangle, like so, make sure it's the same height as this, and then change it to the red of the background. Move it across a little bit so it's covering the shape and move it underneath the shape so this is overlapping. That's fine. And now what we can do is go and grab the logos. So they're in a folder just like this. So drag and drop. Now, make sure that they are positioned equally to each other. I don't know where the one logo is. It's behind there. There you go. That's fine. Now, you can obviously move them around a little bit, but that is fine for now. You don't really need to do a lot with it. Just make sure that the logos and the shapes are above the image because you want to make sure they're sat on top of it because that makes just makes it look better, basically. Um, and same again with here. We've got some text. Um, and a black KO, so kickoff, which is not not a knockout. Um, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? So that's there as well, date and KO. Drag and drop this in. Now, the text for this is a different font to what uh, to Anton. So for this, it's going to be called Blue Highway Bold. So I will leave another link in the description down below so you can download that as well. 
just so it makes it a lot easier for you guys or you can use your own font it's completely up to you but I'm just leaving it there so it makes it easy for you guys and now coming to the last bits now guys obviously this is quite a quick sort of simple design like I like I said it's not too hard I didn't want to keep you you know you know uh, too long so this bit up here which is gonna be similar to what we did with the background so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get um, we're gonna turn our background layer off for now and then we're just gonna type reds and then we're gonna use the same similar technique that we did before with the Anton font make sure it's Anton but this time they're all gonna be the same uh, rotation so can make this nice and big make sure your kerning is down so this is the kerning here make sure that is on zero and we're just gonna move this across like this and then we're gonna go across like that then we're going to change this to go, make sure it's covering the whole square or rectangle as it's seen here. Uh, marching, that's fine. Make sure this is covering like so. And then up here we'll put, or oh, down here, so I should say, uh, we'll put on. So here is on, that's fine. So what you need to do now is group these together. Uh, yep, that's fine. And then what we're going to do is get our rectangular marquee tool, cut out the shape that it is already and then just layer mask this group out. There you go, so the text is there now. So if I turn the background off now, turn the BG on, back on, perfect. So you wanna make sure it's below the image like that. And then we can obviously move it around a little bit, that's fine, but that, that's the general idea. So as you can see you guys so far, it's pretty much identical. Obviously the fonts are a little bit different and the image is a little bit different, but as an idea, it's literally the same thing. So you don't really need to fuss over, you know, creating a perfect match because it's obviously your own thing. But so far it looks great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in some texture and then a camera filter and we should be done. So going back to the texture pack, I have left you some texture, which is this one here. And then we're going to add our own texture in. So we're going to drop this one in, drop that one on top, about there, that's good. Okay. And then we're going to add a new layer. Uh, make sure you've got white brush selected. And we're going to get one of these uh, grain brushes again. And we're just going to paint a little bit of texture on. So you want to make sure that this is very subtle, like so. Just do some dots around, like this. Um, and then what we're going to do, right, is we're going to layer mask this out and paint it back in. So let's get that going. So now we're going to add a layer mask. Command I or Control I to invert the mask. So it's gone. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make it smaller, change our brush to white, and we're just going to start painting some of it back in. Now we don't want too much of this because we don't want it to look too harsh um, when we actually add the camera or filter, but we want it enough just so that it looks grainy. So like obviously in the image here, just remember the bits you added it into. So like here, there we go, that's perfect. Now a bit on the text and that's fine. So as you can see, if I zoom in now, we've got little bits of texture going across the text and stuff. Nothing too major, but enough, you know, so we can see it. So that's fine. So guys, that's pretty much it. So we're going to add a camera filter now. So I'm going to move on to that bit. Okay, guys. So what you need to do is go command shift option E, and then you can make a screenshot or control shift option E if you're on a, a Windows computer, convert that to a smart object. Then what we're going to do is go filter camera or filter, and we're going to go in and use a little bit of uh, effects. So contrast about nine, just the highlights a little bit. Shadows go down a little bit. You can boost these two up a little bit. And what we're going to do is use about 13 clarity, 10 texture, so it brings out the texture on the text that we added in. Uh, vibrance, we can boost up a little bit. And then saturation as well. Sorry, other way around. <laughs> um, got that the wrong way around. Dehaze a little bit. And then boost the curve up so it's brighter. Details sharpen up about 16. Noise reduction about 13 on both. That's looking good so far. Now, if you want to change the red a little bit to make it a little bit darker or you know more saturated, you can. But I really don't recommend it because there's no not much point because it's pretty much fine already. But it does look quite nice if you put it about minus eight, I think. Um, so color grading, you don't really need to worry about this because obviously there's no highlights. It's just a basic match, uh, next match poster. So you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, optics, don't worry about that. Effects, you can add a slight grain, about 15 grain, and then uh, about a minus minus 10 vignette now if we look at a before and after you can see that this design has just really enhanced so obviously the texture looks great the uh, text and all the logos look great we've made pretty much what Man United made on their you know on their actual Instagram it looks pretty much identical I'd say maybe the fonts are a tiny bit different and the image is a little bit different if anything the image is better um, so yeah we've pretty much redesigned what they did so yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. 
Um, this has been a simple, you know, match day, not match day, I guess, next match Instagram post. Uh, you know, another one to add to the series. Obviously, you really enjoyed the other two, so hopefully you enjoyed this one as well. Let me know in the comments or on Instagram or actually in the Discord. So let me finish that all up. Uh, what I said was, if you want to let me know in the comments and on Instagram, you can have some new options for this series. But obviously, if you guys want to join the Discord, which is a new community that I started recently, um, you know, I'll put a bit of a video up on the screen now. So we basically just put new designs and stuff in. We we'll all have a chat about what we're working on. You know, we give people advice and stuff, and you get first-hand experience in speaking to me about your designs. So if that is something that interests you, I will leave a link down below so you can literally just click it, and it should take you straight to my community. Obviously, um, let me know down in the comments if there's something you're interested in, or if you know you want to join. And uh, yeah, click the link, join up. Um, and that's all needs to be said about the Discord. Anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know. Um, and yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now and wasting your time. So hopefully you have a good day or whatever. And I'll see you next time.